nor the hand of the king. No, uncle. Clearly, it would not be appropriate for a woman to assume that role. I'm merely advising my son until he comes of age and chooses a hand for himself. Your Grace, I would be willing to serve provisionally as the king's hand until he becomes You're old enough to make... You're a good man, Lord Tyrell, but I don't imagine you'll have the time. In addition to being master of ships, the king has appointed you master of coin. Oh, Your Grace. He called your experience and wisdom in financial matters unparalleled. He said he would be honored to have you represent the Crown's interests in the same. The honor is all mine, Your Grace. <laughs> your Grace, in the past, on several occasions, a Grand Maester has served as the King's hand. The King uh, is named Kyburn, the new Master of Whisperers. Your Grace, him? This, this man? This, this embarrassment to the Citadel? Your Grace, what qualifications can he possibly have for this post? The qualification of loyalty, Grand Maester. That's far more than the eunuch ever had. Far more than many ever have. I must say, I cannot Uncle see Kevin, how... In light of your position as commander of the Lannister armies, it would please the king if you would serve as his master of war. No man living better deserves the title. That is kind of you to say. I would like to hear it from the king himself. But the king is very busy at this moment. He should be here. Learning what it means to rule. He is learning. On this occasion, in his capacity as ruler, he's asked me to speak on his behalf. I return to the capital to pay my respects to my brother. And to you. And to serve the king. I did not return to the capital to serve as your puppet. To watch you stack the small council with sycophants. Sending your own brother away so he won't my be present. My brother has left the capital to lead a sensitive diplomatic mission. What mission? That is not your concern as Master of War. I do not recognize your authority to dictate what is and is not my concern. You are the Queen Mother. Nothing more. You would abandon your king in his time of need. If he wants to send for me, I will be waiting for him. At Casterly Rock. <laughs> 